Hey, hello, welcome. Friend, in this video, we will learn how we can create lookup in our Oracle integration. So before going to create, I just want to give you basic about that how why we will use lookup. So suppose we created integration, that integration can have the issue like the, in integration we can get error for different different transactions. So suppose we created one integration where we are creating API invoices. And in any case, suppose that integration completed in error or success, we want to send an email to the user to for the notification that we got some that kind of error in our integration. For that, what we can use that as a better approach, we can create lookup, and in that lookup, we can mention that the the email address of that all the teams teams related to different different transactions. So suppose for AP team, suppose we are going to create integration, and that integration completed successfully. So there is requirement to send email to the two user that user uh, will be responsible for AP so that they can identify okay our integration completed successfully. And suppose in case of error we want to send an email to the AP tester team. And in case of any exception or fault handler we want to send an email to AP error team. So that kind of requirement if we have we will use lookup. So that whenever it's each and every time so there can be the situation the same email and the the team the, the, for the AP team we have suppose we have payment integration and that payment integration also in, with the help with the payment team we need to send that the email to the AP team also. So at the time that lookup values can be used in different different integration. The same lookup values will be used in different two different different integration or more. That's why we have lookup. So how we can create lookup? This is the basic example. Even we can use lookup for key values approach. Key values approach something like we have some suppose we have 10 to 15 business unit in our organization and each and for different different transactions we require business unit ID based on the name. So you see and every time instead of getting call BI report to change the get the business unit ID instead of business unit name we can create a lookup that lookup can have the business unit name and based on that business unit ID that kind of thing we can we can implement using lookup so let's implement this 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 uh, things in Oracle integration lookup so how we can do for creating the lookup we need to navigate to the design and in design we have lookup options once you will click here you will get option to create a lookup even we can import and export to lookup also I have already created videos related to the lookup for the Oracle integration generation 2. You can watch that video. I will provide the link in video's description. Now here we have to click on that create button. Once you will click on the create button, it will ask you the name. So suppose I am going to create lookup for that kind of details. So that details easily you can see that this is the email de email details, right? So I will I will give the name as XX, XX identify that the custom. And here you can use your business identifier also. So XX and here you we can use email lookup. I will give the name LKP for the sort of the lookup. Email lookup. So here we have not to provide. So I will use underscore instead of a space. So this is the name of the lookup XX email lookup LKP. And here we can use the keyword. Even we can describe the details. I will use give the details as this lookup. The stores email address for different different team. Different different teams. Now here you can see we have the button to create. So once you will click on the create button, lookup will be created. Now you can see the lookup created by default we have two columns and if you want to add the columns we can click here and if you want to add the value we can click here. We have two buttons. So now for creating and you can see the name of the column is domain name one. We can replace this name we can change the name. So suppose here in seat we have the name first column as transaction code so that we can identify the email for which transaction. So here instead of we want to change the name we will click here and edit the domain and here we will use that the transaction code okay and now here you can next we have success email so I will copy this one I can use here by hitting domain as success email and the same we want to add one more column that error email so for adding the column we have here click icon once you will click here you will get the name so here what we will do we will replace the name as the error and the last we have the 
fault email so i will copy this one fault email values and here once we will click here we have option right so i will go and edit the fault email so now here you can see we have created the lookup and now it's time to provide the value to the lookup like lookup columns for providing the value by default we have one value so here we have transaction code as ap so i will provide ap here and for ap we have email address so i will provide the success email error email and the fault email right here so we added the all the emails here now as 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 per our requirement we added even we can we can do so that it, it will be like visible easily right so we have and this is the same we will use our integration in our integration now we have to add one more value so what we can you do is that we can click on that add so once we will click on the add you can see we have two option to provide the values even we can we can delete the values by clicking on this icon so now it's time to provide so here we have gl we can provide the name the values for different different column and now here the same so this is the way we can add the values so for the testing purpose i have this given these two values only even we can upload the excel sheet that excel sheet whatever value we have that will be uploaded here only based on that so here you can see we have option to like export csv the same will be exported in csv we have option for import all these things we can do so in next video i will show you how we can import values in lookup based on the, the export and import facilities thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed the channel yet please subscribe this channel and don't forget to like the video thank you so much again